Hello, I'm Chris and I'm Lydia Gareth Williams. I do in various other and galactic fasci and the latter and very annoyed. Hello and welcome. Um, my name is Gareth Williams and I'm a lecturer here in the Agricultural Engineering Department in Fisvasi. Um, I'd just like to uh, introduce a quick video to start off with um, and then I'll to talk about the engineering programs that we have here. We are Cambria. We were rated excellent by Estin inspectors. We inspire success. We provide learners with work experience, which enables them to have the very best employment opportunities. We are the highest performing college in Wales. We lead the way with our world class facilities. We partner with top universities to bring degrees to your doorstep. We have raised over £500,000 for charity since 2013. We impact positively on the wider communities we serve. We change thousands of lives every year. We can change yours. Your success starts here. Hello, Chris and all. Uh, welcome back. Um, so I'm going to be talking to you about um, a couple of our learning programs in the engineering um, program. So I'm going to talk about the level two, uh, the level three and the ADCO and Kubota apprenticeship schemes that we run here. Um, so first of all, I'm going to start with the level two uh, agricultural engineering program. Um, so the level two uh, agricultural engineering program is designed for um, tractor drivers, agricultural contractors, machinery dealerships, or for learners that want to progress on to the level three program. Um, it's a three day a week, one year course um, with uh, approximately 60% of the work carried out is practically based and 40% is theoretical. Um, so there is uh, a few different units in, uh, involved in the level um, three, uh, level two program, sorry, um, which is um, health and safety, okay? Um, so it'll cover all the, the mandatory uh, health and safety uh, information that the learners would need to know. Um, we will also cover workshop practice and fabrication, so from marking out, um, cutting material, to uh, thermal joining techniques and so on. Um, we'll also cover engine technology. So you'll cover things from single cylinder engines up to multi-cylinder, um, either spark ignition or uh, compression ignition engines, so your petrol and diesel engines, okay. Um, it'll also cover um, technology uh, such as uh, transmissions and drive lines and hydraulics and electrics. So those are the main units involved. There's also an element of work experience um, involved in the level two qualification. And it's a requirement to uh, carry out 150 hours of work experience. Um, and that can be carried out either one day a week um, or it can be done as a block. Um, and we do release students to do, carry out a, uh, a two week uh, work experience block. So um, the whole level two um, program would be assessed through um, one uh, exam, a health and safety test, and one synoptic um, exam. Now a synoptic exam is a uh, practical uh, based exam, so where they get real life scenario where they would have to um, go and assess the machine, carry out a repair, and um, do a write up on it. And that would be under exam conditions. So moving on from the level two um, program, we'll move on to the level three. Um, so the level three program is a, a two year full time course. Um, so that would be uh, four days a week. Okay. Um, and that would be designed for land based engineers um, or machinery demonstrator, uh, dealership technician, a design engineer, um, and a field service technician, or for learners that want to progress on to um, higher education to university. 
So the uh, the level three qualification is mainly delivered. Um, so it's sixty percent um, theory and forty percent practical. Okay, um, with with the course also having a work experience um, element in it um, of one hundred and fifty hours um, in total. Um, again, that would be either one day a week or um, at least as a two-week block um, to, to help build those hours up. Um, other units in the Level 3 programme would include um, cultivation and drilling machinery, um, forage harvesting machinery, application machinery, um, combine harvesting machinery, engineering calculations, uh, workshop processes, so your welding, your fabrication, uh, and so on. Um, engine technology, um, vehicle systems, which would contain um, steerings, uh, suspension, and chassis systems. Um, electric systems, so your charging and starting systems of your tractors, and, and so on. Electronic systems, so looking at ECUs and diagnostics equipment. Um, and then it would move on to hydraulic systems um, and transmission systems, which would include um, synchromesh, power shift, um, hydrostatic, and C CVT, con uh, continuously variable transmissions. Um, with the level three um, course, um, it would be assessed through three uh, exams, um, six unit exams, uh, unit assignments, sorry, um, and one synoptic um, at, at the end. So the synoptic would be similar to the one that on the level three, but um, requiring a little bit more uh, depth and um, maybe a little bit longer. Okay. Um, so as well as those programs, um, if you, uh, we also run um, an Agco and Kubota uh, apprenticeship schemes. So these are uh, open for um, dealerships of uh, Agco brands as well as Kubota uh, brands um, throughout the, the UK to, to apply to us um, and this so that they can send apprenticeships to us and they would the, the Agco and apprenticeship uh, Kubota apprenticeship programs would be going on over three years on a block release program. Um, typically uh, 12 weeks per year in four week um, blocks. Um, they would be uh, doing a level three city and guilds qualification, um, similar to the level three full time course, except they would be carrying it out over three years um, rather than the two. Um, the ANCO and the uh, Kubota program is a requirement that you would have to be employed by uh, an Agco or a Kubota dealership. Um, and then you would then also receive specific um, brand training um, either by Kubota or Agco um, at their respective training uh, facilities. Um, whilst you're here as a student as well, um, there is also the opportunity for you to gain um, a uh, additional qualifications um, such as first aid, um, certificates of competence in tractor driving um, and construction vehicles, so your 360 degree diggers, uh, dumper trucks and so on. Um, also uh, things such as uh, telescopic handler, uh, abrasive wheels, pesticide spraying and your ATVs. So those are, are available but they would be at uh, an additional cost. So you would um, you would get them at a reduced fee whilst you're here as a student. Now all of these courses are, are available. Um, so if you wanted to stay here, then we've got the accommodation block, the hostel block here at Lisvasi, um, so that we can uh, cater for the ones that want to travel um, from far. Um, so. There's more information that um, is available um, on online. So if you would like more information on our, uh, our full-time programs, if you head to cambria.ac.uk and for the Kubota and Agco um, 
apprenticeship schemes if you would like to go to www.cambria.ac.uk forward slash adco or forward slash Kubota for depending on which program that you would be interested in. Okay. Um, yeah, and we are asking the Hyan and Vuya with Bathes and Dan in Rugor Street, ready for them to have and Dan Heddy of the Peace, please, Peter Fagaiti, Ikasasti and in a colleague. So, if you'd like some more information on any of the courses that we, I've discussed with you today, please don't hesitate to contact us here at the college. Um, thank you very much. Um, well.